Uh, what's it like, you know, coming home and uh, signing with the Falcons? How how'd that feel for you uh, in this first uh, time in free agency for you? It's big time. It it, it was a kind of crazy process, a free agency, but to have a chance to come home and play for the home team, uh, it's, it's an honor, it's a blessing, and I'm excited to get out there and get to work. Hey, and uh, Coach uh, Coach Arthur said, hey, you know, some of the things you all were doing uh, with the Giants is uh, similar to, to what they, they do here. Did you kind of see that, and was that a factor in your decision to um, sign with the Falcons? Of course, I think it would be a good. It's a good fit. Coach Pease, he does a good job um, sending pressure, having guys be versatile, coming off the edges. So I think it was just a good fit and a great situation, and I'm just excited. All right, thanks, Lorenzo. Good seeing you again, man. Yes, sir. You too. All right, up next, uh, we'll go to Michael Rothstein of ESPN. Hey, Lorenzo, how you doing, man? I'm good. How's it going? Good. So. I'm curious, too, how do you feel about possibly being a number, the number one edge rusher? Because if you look at the roster and kind of how things are constructed right now, it seems like it might be you. And then, well, we don't really know after that. Like, how, how do you feel like you can handle that potentially? I think it'll be fine. Um, it's just all about coming into work every day, preparing to get better and pushing your guys and pushing my teammates to get better with me. And I think... Coming in this offseason is going to be a big thing, making sure we get in and guys understand what it's about to be, that it's going to be some work. But I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm sure my teammates are too. So what was, like you said, free agency was a little bit crazy for you. What was that process like in terms of figuring things out? Like how how many offers were there? Was like coming home like a priority for you? Like walk me through this. Yeah, it was just free agency. Um Spending my last four years in New York, not really, I didn't really think about how much went into free agency, the decisions that you make, like just having to think about everything as a whole when it came down to it. And I think it just, everything just happened, the stars aligned. And then I ended up having a chance to come home and put on red and black again. And I couldn't really turn that one down. Cool. Appreciate it. All right. Up next, we'll go to Josh Kendall, the athletic. Hey, Lorenzo, forgive me. I'm whispering. I'm in a public place here. Okay. <laughs> expectations for this football team this year. Outside expectations are not high, but what are yours? My expectations are to come in and establish a culture, set the tone. Um, I plan on us being a physical team. I haven't really got a chance to talk to coach too much, but I know physicality is going to be an important thing, and we're going to be accountable to each other, and it's just going to – it's going to be work. Um, it's always work. The league is uh, it's a Marriott, so everybody's really even. Um, so, I mean, we just got to keep doing what we do and play football, trust the process, and get to work this offseason and be ready to go out there first game. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so. Kevin Knight, Falcon Hall, do you got anything? Hey, Lorenzo. It's Kevin Knight from the Falcon Hall. Um, you finished the 2021 season super strong. You had five sacks, five tackles for loss in those last four games. Uh, do you feel like something clicked for you? Uh, and how do you think you can carry that over to the 2022 season? Yeah, so it, it was big for me to finish strong. I was as healthy as I've been over the last couple of years um, dealing with the Achilles tear. But I was just comfortable, excited to be out there and just take advantage of those last opportunities I had to play ball and be healthy with it. So... I just plan on carrying that over, um, keep working on my strength, explosiveness, and just do what I do. I've, it's my fifth year in the league, so I kind of understood and grown to understand what it, what it takes, and I think that started to show those last couple games. Thanks. Uh, d do you have any follow-ups? Yeah, um, uh, Lorenzo, I got this from Chuck Smith. He said, Zoe was on a roll with a strong finish. Good signing for the Falcons. I'm very happy about this one. Was he, did he help you at all, or did you work out with Chuck at all? But he usually, he's my, he, he usually my uh, expert on the pass rushers for me. Oh, yeah, Chuck's the pass rush expert. He's the guru, so he knows what he's talking about. Um, I love to listen to Chuck. Chuck knows, what he, knows his thing. He's a top pass rush leader, sack leader for the Falcons, and 
I mean, he knows what it takes. So learning from him, getting a chance to pick his brain. Now that I'm home, I can pick his brain even more. And it's the home team. So I'm sure he's going to help out a lot. All right, and then how about your your family? If uh, you know they they're pretty uh, mother happy to see you home, and uh, a lot of people have been hitting you up for tickets and so forth. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't got too many ticket requests yet, but uh, I know that's gonna come once some games start rolling in. But I'm just excited. Um, my family's really excited. There, my mom and dad are gonna get a chance to see pretty much every game, and I'm just excited. I'm really happy. It's a blessing, and I'm ready to put on for the city. All right, thanks, Lorenzo. Mike, you have a follow-up? I do. So, Lorenzo, what's like what's the most interesting thing you did this offseason? Excuse me, what'd you say? What's the most interesting thing you did this offseason? <laughs> the most interesting thing I did was sit on the beach in Aruba <laughs> looking at flamingos <laughs> and talking to Coach Arthur Smith. <laughs> about coming to Atlanta and being a Falcon. <laughs> Wait, was that where all this went down? You were in Aruba looking at flamingos? Yeah, that's where literally all of it went down on the beach with flamingos and my family. So it was a great place to be going through this whole process.